Hello, and welcome to King Pasha's Garage. Today, I'm showing you my all-wheel drive trigger tune for the 1987 Pontiac Firebird. It's the Forza Edition Trans Am GTA. Now, I was asked uh, to do this uh, from uh, Mitchell uh, Ivory. I think I said her name right. Either way. Uh, he says, will you please do a all-wheel drive 87 Trans Am FE based around third and maybe fourth gear? I did. So, let's get into it. Uh, as you can tell, it's a little wild. Um, got these massive rims. Um, you're going to see it is an S1900. Um, and uh, to do that, I had to do heavier rims. And max them out just so I could get the power and whatnot out of it. Um, you're gonna see I, I've done some crazy stuff to this car to get it to where it is, and you're gonna be impressed. I think you are. Um, so let's get reach it a share code first. So as you can tell, it is an S1900. Um, it is uh, 3,400 pounds. It's got 1,056 horsepower. So it's got plenty of power, you know. Um, so yeah, so I'll get you guys the share code right there. Did you pause it? Did you write it down? Did you take a screenshot? I hope you did, because we're done here. So yeah, it is uh, it is something else. I really just want to get rid of it. Um, what I put into this thing, just for you guys to know what I've done. So of course we got the all-wheel drive drivetrain and then I actually have a supercharger on here and there's a reason look at the little uh, you know purple or pink uh, line how it just drops um, and then it's also heavier to run the um, twin turbo I found out it's lighter to run the supercharger all together so I was saving weight by using this and the line is relatively straight where you want it to be so it's perfect of course we got the snow tire compound anything like the stock tire compound would shoot me straight up to an S2 class um, I wanted this to be an S1 I wanted it to be usable so I made it that way I left it just stock uh, 315 in the back I uh, do not know what the, the front are but I'm pretty sure they're close to each other now, of course, I did use uh, heavier rims on this thing. Um, I decided to just use these ones. Um, I went through them all. I, I looked for like different ones to use, and these ones just look fine to be on there. Now, I didn't max them all the way out. Because um, if I went to 21s, it would go to a S2 class. So I just worked them down until I could get an S1 out of it. Okay. So we got 20s on there. It all works out. All right, we got a stock transmission. It's got a six speed in there, okay? It's got the race drive line. And it's got a drift differential. And it has drift springs, which was nice. And then this is all you have right here. Um, it's just got the uh, sport on there. If I would have went race, it would have taken it up to an S2 and there's nothing I could do. The max you can get out of there is 1204. I figured this was good. Um, and it was plenty, plenty enough to get this thing sideways. And I took it up and down um, Cara Esta, the volcano hill I like. And it, uh, <laughs> It, 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 it's quite good quite good uh, so you got 55 55 and I'll just be quiet from here on out until we're done with the tune
and there you go some slight changes uh, to it overall like the uh, dampening I decided 15 all the way down I didn't want to go all the way up to 20 um, so I just dropped it five each uh, springs I decided just to um, make it as soft as possible why not um, and then I also made it the same right height uh, anti roll bars really don't you know 2020 works uh, and this is just a, a good old setup that even works for rear wheel drive um, as you seen my extreme rear wheel drive it's the same too and it works for all wheel drive too it's a um you know it's compatible for both sides um i really made the uh gears just uh short here um he wanted third and fourth gear so that's what i these are the the primaries um and like i said i tuned this on volcano on the volcano um mountain hill thingamajiggy um and uh, it works well. It, uh, you're, you're probably going to be using more uh, third um, on the tight turns. You're going you're, you're gonna to have to drop down a second. Um, you know, the third is just like the 1,056 horsepower that this thing's got. It's pretty much uh, pushing the limits on, on, this, uh, on this car. Um, I mean, it might like red line here, but on the mountain, it's different. It's a different story. Um, on the mountain, you're going to be just pushing. Um, you're going to basically have to um, drive it like you stole it. And I'll show you. Like on the straightaways, outside the drift zones, I feel like the, the car is rev different it, it's it's weird um i don't know if you guys ever have that uh same thing like it, it feels like it revs harder out of the drift zone um at least that's what i got today when i was finalizing the tune i, I can make that and I, I didn't make it this time Try that again. I can usually make that. Like I said, it, 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 it is, it's, it's, a, it's a different animal. So let me pull back and not be a foot away from my TV. Let's see oh, what I'm doing here.
Now I've done better scores with this. My my best um, I pulled with this uh, uh, car was only ten thousand less than what um, I did. So uh, earlier I pulled a uh, one point two five um, on it. My best is a one point two six. So uh, you know you just got to hit the roads right with it. But it is, you know, like you like you wanted. Uh, uh, you wanted third and fourth, and that's like the best I could really give you. Um, you know, you might have to drop it down to second gear, like I said. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, that, that's what you were asking, so that's I, I, I did the best I could, as close as I could. I think you could use this on, online drifting um, on the Drift Adventures. I mean, I did make it an S1. Uh, you know, and I probably will use it tonight just to see how well it does. But yeah, um, there's there's the uh, the tune, the share code, the build. I hope you enjoy it. Um, it, it 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 took some uh, messing around to get it to where it is. I I, I consider it good enough to share. So, all right. Well, hey, thanks for watching. And uh, thanks, uh, thanks, uh, Mitchell, for uh, requesting this car. So, a huge shout out to you. And uh, I hope I got your name right. And if it's Michael, then you know it's Michael, but it's probably not. But I could be wrong either way. Uh, I'm terrible with names sometimes. Other than that, <laughs> uh, I'm getting carried away here. Uh, I will talk to you guys later. Stay sideways, my friends.